Hey guys, I am doing a sort of part two to my previous video that was my top 10 rarest and most valuable vinyl records in my collection. This time I'm going to be doing the same thing but for 7 inch and 12 inch singles. When I did this the last time for my actual vinyl record albums, uh, that video did way better than I thought it would and I'm so glad you guys liked it so I thought I should do a part two. If you're new to my channel, I do a ton of different vinyl record content. I have a ton of different vinyl record videos for you guys to watch. So if you're interested, there will be links in the description. Really quick before I get too far into the video, I just want to give you guys a little update on my upload schedule. If you don't really care, then you can just skip this part. But if you do, then I want to let you guys know what's going to be happening with my channel for about the next two weeks. So like I said, my upload schedule for the next two weeks is going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to be posting a couple more videos than usual. I will still have my regular Friday. Friday weekly videos at 11 a.m. I'm going to be posting two extra videos in the next two weeks and those will be on Saturday September 25th and Monday October 4th. I don't want to give too much away as to what it's about but it is related to concerts. If you're watching this video when it comes out then it is Friday September 24th and I'm currently at a concert right now and I plan on vlogging that concert so that video will be out the next day so Saturday the um, 25th. And then the following week, a week after uh, this video comes out, I am going to be at another concert and I'm going to be vlogging that whole experience. There will be more information about that soon, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up as to what's happening with my channel and I'm super excited to post those videos. With that out of the way, I'm ready to begin this video. The reason why I'm doing a top 5 is because I don't have a lot of them that are... I think worth it to go in the top 10 so I figured I would just cut it off at 5 so you guys could get like the better half of the list and the ones at the bottom of the list I definitely do not consider rare or valuable so again that's why I cut it off at um, top 5. Again I am basing this off of Discogs sale history like I did in my last video so I am filtering all of these by the median price range that everything sold for that way it's kind of fair and in the middle. So coming in at number 5 I have Slide. This is a 12 inch single by Calvin Harris, Frank Ocean, and Migos. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like because it's actually a picture disc. So here's what the picture disc looks like. Again, like I said, it's a 12 inch single on a picture disc. I'm not the biggest fan of picture discs just because of the sound quality, but I do like looking at them and they're nice to frame. Um, and I also have this song on another album, so I don't actually play this, but it is nice to have in my collection because I love Calvin Harris, I love the song Slide, and I really and I really do like the artwork on the picture disc. It's a bunch of palm trees. So this was originally sold on Calvin Harris's merch store, and I got it off of eBay, so this one is from eBay. So it is sold out on Calvin Harris's merch store, and it is pretty hard to find on eBay. There are only a few of these available on eBay last time I checked, and they were going for about $60, so that's crazy. I think I only paid like 20 for it. So this sold on the low end, the, uh, the minimum end, for $14. The median price that it sold for was $27. And the maximum price that this sold for was $60. At number four, I have the song The Only Way Is Up by Tiesto and Martin Garrix. And this is obviously a 7-inch single. This I did get off of eBay. It was the only one on eBay when I bought it. And this was originally sold on Tiesto's merch store, but I haven't seen it on his store because I checked and then ended up just going to eBay and buying it. So this is definitely getting harder to find and I'm going to show you guys this is on like a clear milky white vinyl. I'm not sure if this is still being pressed, but it is definitely getting a lot harder to find. On the low end, this sold for $20. The median price that it sold for was $29. And the maximum price that this sold for on Discogs was $42. At number three, I have the single Rockstar by Post Malone featuring 21 Savage. And this is the 12-inch single. Here is what it looks like just on black vinyl. I love the song Rockstar by Post Malone. It is seriously a banger. So here's what the artwork looks like. I think it's really cool and it definitely fits with the whole Post Malone vibe and aesthetic. So this I got off of Amazon for about $15. As you can see, it is kind of folded and bended. It has some creases in it and I bought that that way on purpose. I bought it used so I could save a little bit of money, which I'm fine with. I believe it is still available to buy on Amazon. But so if you're looking for this, I would definitely say to check Amazon. Honestly, I'm surprised it made the list when I filtered everything out, but I guess here it is. So on the low end, this sold for $20. In the middle, it sold for $30. And on the high end, this sold for $95 on Discogs, which completely blows my mind. <laughs> that was probably probably somebody getting ripped off honestly. We're getting into the top two now. At number two, 
I have the 7 inch single Heartless and Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Yeah, so I really love the colors and everything and the aesthetic of the cover. And then on the back here, it just says side A is Heartless and side B is Blinding Lights. And those two were definitely my favorite songs off of The Weeknd's album After Hours. So I'm really glad that I was able to get these both on um, uh, 7 inch vinyl because I do not have his full album on vinyl. And these are pretty popular songs. I mean, Blinding Lights broke so many records. I can't even keep count. And this is on a gold vinyl, so that's also really cool. Here's what that vinyl looks like. I love that color so much. What definitely makes this 45 rare is that... Um, so The Weeknd did release a bunch of different variants of this um, with Heartless and Blinding Lights. They all had different colored vinyl and different covers, so he did release a ton of different variants for this. And this is just the one that I got. It is... It says 006 right here, so I guess that's the one that I have. So the minimum that this sold for was $20, the median that it sold for was $30, and on the high end, this sold for $43. Number one, it did not surprise me at all. I was pretty sure this was definitely going to be higher up on the top five list. So here at number one, I have the song Teeth by 5 Seconds of Summer on this 7-inch 45 record. I love the song Teeth so much. It slaps so hard. It's an absolute banger, and I really love the um, album artwork on this. One side has the regular studio version of Teeth, and then the other side has Teeth Live from the Vault, which is like a different live version of the song. Like it's just on black vinyl. So this I got off of Five Sauce's merch store, and not long after I bought it, it did sell out on their store, so it is not available to purchase on there anymore, and they aren't pressing it anymore, so really the only way you could find this is on like eBay or Depop. I'm really glad I bought it when I did though because like I said it did sell out after I bought it and that is when I first started collecting. On the low end of Discogs this is selling for $33, the median price is $42, and the high price was $43. So those are the top 10 rarest and most valuable 7 inch and 12 inch singles that I have in my vinyl record collection. The median prices didn't surprise me too much. I have a pretty modern taste so I know all of these records aren't extremely rare yet and so that's why they are going for, you know, cheaper prices. I mean they are kind of high to me but generally these are pretty cheap prices. Some of the max prices definitely surprised me like $60 for Slide and a $95 for Rockstar. That was pretty crazy. It's kind of funny because I know like I think most people probably would not consider these prices really high but they are to me. I definitely think as time goes on these prices definitely will increase and these records will increase in value over time. So there are definitely pros and cons to collecting singles but personally I really enjoy it. Let me know your rarest and most valuable 7-inch singles or 12-inch singles or 10-inch, like all of that kind of stuff, all the singles. Let me know um, which rare singles you have in your vinyl record collections. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.